Hello friends, welcome back. My name is Priyandra Kumar. In this video, you will learn how to use subtotal in our table. I'll show you one example here. I have this table wherein I have a student name, subject, marks and maximum marks. Now this table I want to convert in interactive table with subtotal. So here you can see I have created this table using subtotal. In this table if you will see I have added a subtotal for each student and I have used group also. At the bottom I have used grand total also for all the students. We can use the group also to see the grand total just click on 1. You can see here if I will click on 2 then it will just display subtotal by student. So this is the total of the first student and the second student and if you want to see the subject wise number for each student you can click on 3 or you can just click on plus button if you want to see all the students number just click on this 3 button all right so friends how we can create this table using this table if we will create this manually then how we will create this let me show you first this one just copy this data click on this plus button so the new worksheet has been added i will paste this data here let me remove the grid lines from here just go to the view and uncheck the grid lines so first of all what we will do we will insert a row after each student select this row insert then select the next student and then here and now here we will put pk total and similarly here at the bottom we will put grand total now here we will use some formula or we can use the subtotal formula so we will use subtotal and we want to get the sum of these numbers so we will use number 9 and then we will keep this reference copy this formula we can paste the same formula here now just copy this formula and we can paste it here and then we can paste it here and then we can paste it here to get the grand total we can again use the subtotal subtotal then we will take 9 comma reference we can give this reference automatically it will ignore the subtotals which we have used all right so just press enter and fill this right if you will use the sum then it will give you the different result let me show you i have used sum so it is just giving the double of it all right friends so it has ignored the subtotal now we will format this and we will add the group so what we will do first of all we will add the first group with the grand total we'll select this range and then entire row using shift space button just go to the data and click on group so it has added a group if i will click on one then it will just display this grand total if i will click on two then it will display all the data now i will add the group by student so i'll select this range then i will click group then i will select the billion and click on group here we should take total all right now what i will do first of all i will format this grand total so i will select this grand total and i will remove all the borders from here first of all so you can use the shortcut hbn or you can go to the home tab border and you can say no border then add the dark gray color here this one the background color make this bold and italic and i will add a border so you can go to the more border and here we will select this double line and just put on top is all right now we will format the subtotals or the total for the student so we can click on this two button to do it quickly and here you can see only total is visible so just select this range and in this range we will select only visible cells to select the visible cells i'll tell you a shortcut you can go to the home and you can go to the find and select and here go to spatial or to go to spatial you can simply press ctrl g and here you can click on spatial here in go to spatial we will select visible cells only then only visible cells will be selected 
the another shortcut method is just select the range and press alt plus semicolon button in your keyboard which is available next to l button only visible cells will be selected now here you can fill some light gray color and you can say no border first then you can put slightly darker border let's say i'm taking this one i will put it top and bottom is like this now click on one it is grand total click on two it is the student wise total and three the all date so friends here i have created this table manually it took some time if the student list is very high then it will take more time how can you do it quickly i'll tell you here just select this data and go to the data tab and just click on subtotal which is available in outline group then this subtotal window will be opened the first option is student name of course we want to create the subtotal after each student and we want to use the sum yes we want to create the subtotal for marks and maximum marks and here replace current subtotal although there is no subtotal available you can check it or you can uncheck it and the summary below data yes just click on ok automatically subtotal has been created whatever we have done manually here it has done automatically the only difference is student wise total and the grand total is not formatted as per our requirement so quickly you can do it just select the one and just select this range go to home give some dark gray color let's say this one make this bold and italic and then go to the border say no border first and then go to the more borders and here just select this double line top is okay now click on two select this range again press alt and semicolon button in keyboard visible cells will be selected say no border first then go to the more border and here we will select this border top and bottom is then we will fill here light gray color this one and make this bold all right so our table is ready just click on three quickly we have created and the subtotal formula is automatically applied you can see we haven't do anything like group and all the things have been done automatically using the subtotal function i'll tell you the other feature of the subtotal so let me go to the sales sheet here we have employee wise location wise sales to create the subtotal make sure if you want to create the subtotal by employee names that should be shorted so the all employee one is coming first then employee two is second and then third like this so data should be in short format go to the data subtotal here i'll explain you the other feature like summary below data if i will uncheck this then what will happen i have used sales sum and employee name then my total or the grand total will be on top rather than below the data you can see here so grand total is available then the employee one total then the data for the employee one and if i will click on one then it will display the grand total then the total third one is this one if you want to show the total and the grand total below the data then you can simply use the subtotal and use the replace current subtotal so it will replace the current subtotal use this button you can see it is available on bottom or the below the data now i'll tell you about the this feature if i will not check this then what happen i have not checked this and this subtotal is available here if i will press control p to take the print and you can see this is the print preview all the information coming on one page only all right now let me select this go to the subtotal again and i will check the page break between groups click on ok page break has been applied between the group control p you can see only first employee will be available here on the first page now if i will click this next button so it will show you the next page this is employee 2 employee 3 employee 4 employee 5 that means if i will take the print out it will come on five page for each employee it will take the one page only all right friends so that is how you can use the subtotal in microsoft excel it is available in data tab 
and outline group i hope you have enjoyed this video friends if you like this video please hit the like button and please subscribe my channel to get the regular update of my videos thank you so much for watching